Hi, my name is George Wilson and I'm one of the ZFS developers and today I wanted to talk to you about the system duty cycle uh, scheduling class which is available in Solaris 10 Update 9. Um, the main purpose of this new scheduling class was to allow customers to better utilize their systems when doing a lot of I.O. via ZFS. Um, the main problem that we witnessed was as customers started having data sets that were using compression, for example, if they used some very intensive compression algorithms like, say, gzip or gzip9, what would happen is that as they wrote out lots of their data, their CPUs would end up getting totally consumed by the fact that they had to compress the data as it was being written out. As a result, any applications that were trying to get resources would be, uh, wouldn't be allowed to, to get them until the I.O. actually completed, so they would end up being starved out. Um, the new scheduling class, what it allows you to do is, is to limit the amount of time that the I.O. subsystem will actually utilize the CPU, and it allows it to share it with other applications. So now there's a better efficiency and um, model of sharing the CPUs between the underlying subsystem of ZFS and that of any application that's trying to run on top of it.